Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve the systems of equations using elimination. So to do that, what I need to do is um, identify which variable I want to isolate, right? Which variable I want to want to solve for that I can plug into the other equation. So to do that, I want to choose the variable that is isolated, right? That is by itself. Um, not really by itself. And you can notice that both these equations, I do not have a variable that is isolated. So that's going to be an issue. Um, the next thing is you want to say, all right, well, if there's not a variable that's isolated, look for the variable that has a coefficient of 1. Where you can see I have y and y. This is negative 1, that's positive 1, right? Well, preferably, we'd like to use the one that's positive. You could use this one, but since we have a, the variable with the positive one, let's go ahead and use that. So what I'm going to want to do is solve for y in this equation. So I have y, um, sorry, y minus 7x equals negative 6. So I want to isolate this variable. I want to get the variable un by itself. So to do that, I have to undo subtraction, which would be adding 7x to both sides. So I have y equals 7x minus 6. OK, so now I'm going to take the value of 7, take the value of 7, and plug it into, uh, take the value of, sorry, the value of 7. Take the value of y, which is 7x minus 6, and plug it in for y in the other equation. So therefore, I have 7x minus Rather than y, y is equal to 7x minus 6. So I can, these are in, 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 interchangeable, right? So that's 7x minus 6 equals 6. You could also write y, but again, we want to write an equation which only has x's so we can solve. Well, I need to make sure I apply distributive property. So I have 7x minus 7x plus 6 equals 6. Well, that goes to 0. And I'm left with 6 equals 6, which is always going to be true. So therefore, we have a consistent solution that is dependent. This is infinite many solutions. If you looked at the graph, these would be graph, um, these would be lines that are right on top of each other. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a systems of equations using substitution. Thanks.